Hey, Marth, um... Any chance you can get a crit there, buddy? That'd be great. Do you plan to defy me once more, descendant of Henri? No matter how many times you return, mankind will never surrender. This long battle, I will end it here, once and for all! Aw, oh, no crit. That would have been great if he just, like, crit him right off the bat and, like, one-shot the boss. Oh dear. Uh-huh. Yeah, um... Two defense, 33 defense in total. These things will not scratch him, no matter what you do. Um, uh, yeah, not even, nobody can double it, not even Sita. Um, bugger. Dodge? Crit, crit, crit! No! No, that's not what I wanted. At least died even though we just saved her. Back! A mere human such as yourself wishes to challenge me? How foolish. Well, I've come this far just for this moment. My death means nothing, for Prince Marth will create a bright future for all of us. As long as I have that hope, I'll fight on. I'll come at you with everything I have. That's our quote. Okay, so maybe if I change fate, maybe he can get a crit this time. But here. I'll bring all of his support friends right here, so that we can make things a little easier for us. Well, see ya, crit. Now it's your turn, Marth. Will you be a man and kick his ass, finish the job? Oh, Paula. Wait a minute, I haven't, wait a, wait a minute. No, wait just a gosh darn minute. Maybe if I fix everything up. I didn't use Parthia. I should use Parthia, what was I thinking? All right, six. Okay, we're finishing this up battle right now. Unless Mark decides to crit and make everything all meaningless. Sure, why not? Why the hell not? You lose again, Medius. Why have I been defeated so easily? Because I'm... because Falchion makes you broke it. Seriously, I'm pretty sure, like... Falchion just makes him a fucking joke if you make crit like that. Is this the power of the Binding Shield? Know this, humans, the light is only a brief respite. So long as evil lurks within the heart of man, and should the accursed shield be lost, we'll rise from the depths of hell. Do not forget that. Yeah, whatever, the score is still Marth 2, many is 0. So yes, that takes care, the game's over, I win! I'm a winner. Now the true ending begins, with everyone alive. The war is at long last over. Thank you, my friends. My words cannot express my thanks. You did it, sire. You didn't do shit, except in the beginning. You're gonna turn your motherland. Yes, you can. Yeah, we did it. We really did it. Peace will reign forever. Yes, fine, you did. I'm sure the people throughout the lands will be joyous. I'm sure they will. Now, yes. Oh, yes. Aaron has a cold and dies. And Melissa is happy for her granny. Katria will never get her. Katria and Marth will never love you. You have to deal with it. Back to your old life. What did you do again? Time to celebrate a victory. I'm gonna go wild tonight. Darkness may return time and time again, but the light will forever shine on. Yes, there was a long war, but now finally things can... Just tonight I'm gonna drink till I fall and then some. It's over at last. Well, it's over? I'm not dead? Yeah, I'm surprised too, Mathis! The most important thing is the peace is returned. The war is over. I gotta inform the king of the good news. It's over. Yes, it's over. 
Nothing to say, huh? At least you're happy, I guess. I'm coming home soon, mother. Martha safe. Yes, you are. Time to drink the night away for a change. Eh, I wonder how much treasure I can get my hands on. Yeah, I guess, I don't know. Yes, you were there. Faye was there. No, you are not. I'll become famous too. No, you won't. Yes, people overcome their fate. Hang in there, I'll be back soon. Oh yeah, because Caesar's sister is sick, I think. And Rad's pretty much helping him because he's a good friend. Navari is happy too. Shall I show him a victory dance? Sure, why not? A splendid battle and a splendid victory. Yeah, you do that, I guess. New worlds, new encounters. Sounds good to me. Our Cheney will return to its former glory. Yep. Etzel is there. Yes. As long as Prince Martha is around, no Age of Darkness threatens us. Alone, I couldn't probably come to some days. So this is the power of friendship. Once I get a reward, I'm gonna gamble like no tomorrow. No, you won't. My people will surely be overjoyed. We did it, Anna. I'll tell you about it later. Yeah, I hope this guy and me was supposed to just... No, you weren't. Not really. Yeah, press no longer. Camus, the Shadow Dragon's been vanquished. It's over now. Remember these guys? Yeah, Camus was here. They didn't. Don't worry. Start a new journey, will ya? Thank everyone. A world of men, huh? I guess this ain't so bad. And Tiki's happy. Fuck you. The war is over, but the battle for the motherland. Peace begins now. The war is over. The days of peace and tranquility will return. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Work to any commands. Yes, you will, Astrum. I'm glad you're happy, Katarina. Arcania and Grawl will improve now. Yep. Shima is happy. Samson's happy. And Frost, uh, forget him. Oh, yes. And the Wolf Guard, however, pretty much, um... They're pretty much in a nervous wreck. Especially Wolf, who's pretty much like heartbroken beyond words. Made nation has collapsed, but to continue as a knight of Archania, you will. You worked hard, sure you did. You didn't do shit! Except get Starlight, but that was it. This is good. Yes, it is. Yeah. They're safe. Can we be a happy family again? Well, the Chillis is gonna leave, so whatever. Camus was there. Poor Nina. Okay, now for the real things. Brave Prince of Altia. Thanks to your valiant efforts, Shadow Dragon Mace has been obliterated. Many of servants, the Earth Dragons, have once again returned to darkness. And as long as the Binding Shield exists, they will never see the light again. The Chosen Prince of Light descended upon me. Month! You have not only saved mankind, but us Dragon King as well. And now, Tiki's free! Except I think she goes back to sleep in a until she wakes up in Awakening. Yes, I know you love Marmar, but he's taken, Tiki. Yeah. Don't you don't you think you he'll get mad? Yeah, Marth looks happy. Who wouldn't, especially after having a happy burden lifted from their shoulders. Prince Marth has always been forced to carry such a responsibility. It's been so hard. Yeah. Look at that! Malaysia really grew up a lot. Mars has been tasked with such an important mission. I ask for God to take my life, should Mars ever sacrifice his. I give up. There's no way I could compare to you, Princess. See? Looks like Malaysia grew up. And just in time, too, because now they can actually get married for real now. It's finally over. I made you suffer, too. You have my apologies. No help. Are you kidding me? You are the best unit on our team. The hard part begins now. The seven kingdoms of Archania are going to have to be unified. Yeah, because guess what? Marth has to become king of everything because almost every other ruler just gives Marth their country because they can't do, they can't even rule in a kingdom as effective as him. So it's like, you know what? Let's just give our kingdoms to Marth. Let him do all the fucking work. So yeah, wherever you went, I trust you no matter what. So however the pain is, Yes, we know, they love each other. They're marrying. I guess kiss already, goddammit. Speech is beyond words, huh? If 
fact, I can devote my last moments to fight on the prince. We know Aaron dies at the end, quit breaking it to us. Yep. Even though I'm not a knight now, it's good to have the old partnership back together. Oh, now we have the other knights. Now we can see more hope rising up. Yep. And now the seventh platoon is here. We won? Somebody picked me. Ow! Hey, you asked for it, but truly our battles will be told by legends for generations to come. Getting carried away, I see. But I'm glad everyone from the seventh platoon is safe. Even you, Katarina. Glad you're safe too. Yep. Katarina and John have a good bond. It's a shame they don't kiss. They don't get hitched. Fry's just alone. Where did Sirius go? He was here a minute ago. It's okay. We'll become stronger for him. I'm sure he'd want that too. So Roger tries to find love again. Wanna go back with me? Nope. Rejected already. Some things never change. And these guys. Who are these guys again? Not really important. The war is over. You've done well. So, yes, the three white wings are all together. And Maria's there too. Who wants to see his dashingness? <laughs> Tell me, did Julian make any just tasteful advances on you? Why would I do something like that? Come on, at a time like this. Yeah, I see you two have gotten along. Yeah, Julian has one messed up family. Yep, Warren's just alone. And the talismans... Talismen are all together. You too, Boris. You did something good. Now the two swindlers can find some honest work, hopefully. And Lind... So yes, yeah, sorry for making you worry, says Nina. And Midia, I'll tell you was... Yeah. Midia and Astrum will get back together. And yes, George doesn't want to be the third wheel. Third wheel. Yeah. And of course, these guys don't want to go back to the army and make their own things. Uh, good luck with that, I guess. Yep, now they can save him. Save her. And... Navari now has a new fan club, I guess. Hooray for him, I guess. And two former balisticians find friendship, I suppose. And I guess these two itch up. And Frost makes a meets fa two family people, I suppose. Don't want no man, eh? Interesting. So yes, everything's safe. And yeah, the Wolf God is just pretty much a, a train wreck at this point. Especially Wolf, because spoiler alert, he pretty much throws himself to a battle and pretty much implied to kill himself. So now Elorain pretty much learns his mistake. And about time too. And a body, a queen crushing on her bodyguard. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Even the blue hair is pretty much a a reference to something. Yep. Dragons! And Nagi goes back to sleep. And finally, this. For protecting and supporting me, no matter things will be enough. But among the people, your deeds are being told as things I've done alone. That won't do! So yes, now here comes the thing. I have no need for a name. I don't want stories to be told of me. So basically, long story short, He's just going to allow Marth to take all the credit for all of his works. Why is that? To have everyone's agreement, a king recognize everyone recognizes a god like you. So basically, he's just going to uh, pretty much let him take all the credit so that everyone knows that Marth is pretty much the best king, no matter what. He'll just be his shadow. Why, I wonder. Ever since we met, I felt a special connection with you. Fate has sent you to help me, but I can't help but think that. Thank you, John. Stay with me. You're my other half. My true friend. Sure. Thus, the long, tragic battle that would later be called the War of Heroes finally came to an end. The Seven Kingdoms were unified under Prince Marth of Altia, and as the United Kingdom of Archania was established, an era of peace began. The tales of the heroes who took part in this war brought excitement and tears to the later generations. 
Chronicles of the Archanian War of Heroes. And it was a, this is a story of love and courage about the young warriors who fought with the continent's fate at stake. That rhymes, huh, how about that? And there you go. That is it. That is the end of Fire Emblem, New Mystery of the Emblem. A game I really, really wish would have came out localized outside Japan, but unfortunately we just couldn't have that. Even so, I'm really thankful we got the, um, the fan translation. I'm really glad we got this game. Yeah. But holy crap, this game was absolutely brutal. Like, I played, the last time I played Hardman was like over a year ago. And honestly, I didn't remember this being that difficult, especially with weapons, with silver weapon enemies early on in the game. It was absolutely chaotic. But still, I have no regrets. I absolutely do love this game. And again, it's my third favorite game for a reason. It's third place, second place is Awakening, and first place is Radiant Dawn. And yeah. I don't know how new how three houses will topple this, but I haven't got around to it yet. So yes. Pretty much everything that happens here will lead to awakening, I guess. Like pretty much all of the United Kingdom will pretty much lead to like the continent of Elise. After all, Crombie is Mart's descendant after all. Crombie and Lucina are Mart's descendants after all. So yes. This game was absolutely amazing. First emulated game. I to play through. Pretty nice experience. I mean, I got to try out this new headset. I got to, yeah, experiment with a bunch of other things too. Oh, this game was a pretty interesting thing as well. Like, this game was a lot. This it was a very shorter Fire Emblem playthrough. Probably because I a, used an emulator to skip through everything else, and B because you know, I um. Fast forward so I could get back to where I left out before. And pretty much skip all and just pretty much fast forward through any slow things. And I think this is like session 14 as compared to what like Waiting Dawn and Path of Rains, which had like 20 to 30 sessions. An absolute crazy ride. But yeah! Now I can at least go back to Pokemon Platinum, finish that up. So, all right, now we go for the character's endings. 13 battles and three wins. Luke suddenly retired from the knighthood and continued his playboy ways. He lived the rest of his life widely and freely. Rhodey had seven battles and four wins. Rhodey remained a court mate, serving under Mark. He became one of the finest paladins of the continent. Four battles, zero wins for Cecil. She devoted the rest of her life as a paladin of House Eltia. Gifted Archer. Gordon had four battles and zero wins. Gordon retired from knighthood for personal reasons and moved to Archania's palace. Afterwards, he became a member of the Archanian Rangers. Ryan with 16 battles and nine wins. Ryan stayed in Eltia and joined the Temple Knights. Though young, he did his absolute best as a knight. Draw two battles, one win. Following Mart's orders, Strong became the commander of Russ's garrison. Early, at 19 battles, 9 wins. Aaron died of illness after the war. They really loved to remind us that Aaron Tech was gonna die. And Malaysia had 19 battles and 9 wins. Ah, same trim track record as Aaron. Malaysia advantage after the war. Where Mart worried she became a bad girl. Natria, 62 battles, 42 wins. Unless she felt sympathy for her elder sister, Catra would tirelessly restore Mistor Macedon. Two battles, one win. Warren returned to Macedon and became a hunter once more, living peacefully in the forest. Two battles, one win for Corrin, who returned to the Kingdom Talus and became a woodcutter. He preferred that life to the grim bloodiness of war. Lind. Eight battles, two wins. Lind worked in the palace's magic attack. Perhaps she found love for her beauty blossomed. 105 battles, 77 wins. Though her feelings pained her, Hala put them aside and diligently continued her work. Gord got absolutely nothing. I mean, no, Bord got nothing. 
Born returned to the Kingdom of Talos and became a woodcutter. He kept on training and boasting that he could fight any time, anywhere. 60 battles and 43 wins for Julian. Together with Lena, Julian cared for orphans at a convent in Macedon. Mathis! Who the fuck cares about him? Rise! Two battles and no wins. Rise spent the life, rest of his days in a monastery in Altia. He often lent a helping hand to prospecting knights in training. 26 battles, 16 wins for Ogma. History lost track of Ogma after the war. And that's it, okay, sure. Demina got nothing. Demina studied abroad at the Palace's Magic Academy, aiming to be a full-fledged cleric. Ubello got one win. Under King Mart's tutelage, Ubello studied diligently at Altia. Oh, that's good. Sirius, 126 battles, 74 wins. After the war, Sirius left without any reward. He went back to Valencia and be with Tatiana. Castor, 108 battles, 61 wins. Castor joined the Archenian Rangers. Afterwards, he returned to the house and lived with his mother. He saved up lots of money. Mart's fiance. Sita, 20, 124 battles, 78 wins. After the war, Sita's long way of dream of marrying Marth was realized. In a snow white dress, she was said to have looked as beautiful as an angel. Good for you, girl. You finally married the man of your dreams. Bars got two wins and 11 battles. Bars vanished out rather than going to Talos. He became a woodcutter or a pirate. Who knows? Ricard, one battle. After the battle, Ricard turned to thievery yet again. Brave knight for Frey. As a knight of Eltia, Frey dedicated himself to teaching future knights. In Norm, three battles, one win. Norm returned to her village to live a peaceful, ordinary life undisturbed by war. Samto got absolutely nothing. Samto vanished after the war, but we say that he would continue to impersonate Navari. Although if Navari is actually dead, he actually becomes the next Navari, so that's something. Wendell, one battle, returned to Kayan as Archmaid and spent all his energy restoring the City of Magic. Caesar and Red got nothing, obviously. Caesar vanished after the war. I could say he either lived happily with his sister or lost his life in battle. Well, that sucks. Lady Killer Rad, who found a lover after the war, but his whereabouts after that are unrecorded. Did he win? Who cares? Navari, seven battles, three wins. Ignoring the expectations of others, Navari disappeared like the wind again. Fina, 20 battles and 10 wins. After the war, Fina vanished like with the wind. AKA Navari. Kane, seven battles, three wins. Following Jagan's death, King became the commander of the Altian Knights. Bantu, who cares? He discarded his dragon stone, except we still have it. We never gave it to him. Roger found no love. He thought new romances, he didn't get far. Perfect shot. Nine battles, six wins for George, huh? George found the Alterian Rangers after the war. He mission protect the people from bandits. Minerva with 63 battles and six, seven, three, wins. Minerva renounced her claim to the throne and worked at the Covenant. She regained her bond with her brother and they became close. Etzel, one battle. After the war, Etzel resumed his travels as if he looked for something he had lost. Merrick, 69 battles, 37 wins. Merrick built a ma magic academy in the palace, spending his days teaching the youth. His friendly personality earned him the love of his students. Elorain, overshadowed. As a pontifex of Kaiden, Elorain strived to restore the city of magic. His strict personality earned him the respect of his students. Oh, like Sigrun and Tanny, I get it. Dice, no one cares. He received an outrageous reward from his month. He spent it on gambling. Oh great, it's Makalov again. And Maris. She received an outrageous reward, and she actually restarted, started a weapons shop. Oh good, she was a responsible one. General Horus got one win. He returned to his lands of Archania, dedicating himself to restoration. And his love, Jake. Jake spent his days helping his girlfriend, Anna, manage the shop. The two dreamed of leaving for a faraway continent someday. Doros! Never succumbed to his pirating ways, and instead found honest work in Altia. Good on him! Robert! Nobody cares! He passed through grass in the reconstruction effort. Belf! Nobody cares either. 
It's the same ending. They helped everybody else. Even I had cameras, but rumors are rumors. Beck. Beck vanished after the war, but after he was always destined to wonder, for he never stopped long in any one place. Von Vumen and Dina. Twenty battles and nine wins. Wow. Okay. Set sail in a rowboat one day. Where she fair she vent, no one knows. Fast she returned to her distant homeland and washed up somewhere. Zane vanished once more after the war. All that remained afterwards were the odd antidotes of an eccentric shapeshifter. Tiki! Oh, poor Tiki, I didn't use her at all. Tiki lived happily in the palace town, surrounded by her dearest friends. Est! She le she runs away, pretty much leaving Abel heartbroken, forced ancient and having him chase after her, and ruins Est's love life too. And that's why I absolutely hate S because of that ending. She ruins the life of two people. Or a lot of other people, because I'm pretty sure Catherine is heartbroken too. See, look at that. Abel left the kingdom to search for S. He has never seen again. Look at that! He ruined Abel's life, and I absolutely despise that. Yeah, whatever. Ask them if they wanted him to return, but who cares? He sucked. He and Dolph could just be brothers. Australia had three wins. He joined the Archangel Rangers and worked for his people. He finally tied the knot in his spare time, and about time too, jeez. Katarina tirelessly served Martha and Altia, as if to atone for her past sins. Good for you, Katarina, I knew you could do it. Thomas had one win. Good for him, I guess. Thomas joined the Watchmen, protecting the Archanian border. Rather than serve the military, he preferred to remain among the people. Yep. So yes, to claim Mart's request, she never renounced her claim to cross throne and settled in the palace town. She lived as an ordinary but happy girl. So yes, Marth gets Macedon from Minerva, Graal from Shima, and later on Archania from Archania and Aurelis from Nina, because he's the only one that could do it. Frost! Yeah, that's about all of his. Rosha left for Aurelis after the war. I count so unclear, but some say he was present at Hardin's funeral. Yep. Oh, Violin had one win, huh? Violin returned to Aurelis after the war. He was finally to discard his resentment towards Altia, and soon began their trusted ally. Even though we did nothing wrong, but whatever. Sedgar left for Aurelis after the war. Embracing the ideals of the Departed Hardin, he continued to fight with the Wolf Guard. And he guess pretty much becomes the new captain, because Wolf... Yeah. Wolf set his sights for Arliss, and was searching for death, he threw himself recklessly into battle, one after the next. Yep, so Sinker becomes a new Wolf Guard, because Wolf's just a pretty much a giant wreck. Midia joined the Archani Rangers, devoting her life to serve her people. She never lost her sense of justice. Even though she really thought about our unit twice. Ymir returned to his village in Gress and spent his days laboring in the fields. Michelis! The council are conflicted with Michelis after the war. Some say he ruled over Macedon once again, while others claim he departed to conquer another continent. Probably the for I want to say the former. No, latter. After the war, Nagi vanished and suddenly she appeared. History holds no records of her appearing again. Lena cared for orphans in a con convent in Macedon. Her kindness healed the hearts of many. Minerva's sister Maria cared after war orphans in a convent. The children loved her as a big sister. And Nina is also a giant train wreck because, yeah, she just pretty much, pretty much vanishes. She, she's been through so much. She just couldn't handle everything. She just pretty much wanted to run away from it all. Who could blame her, really? And she married Mary. At least Mary Mary. And look at me. 236 wins, 157 battles. 236 battles, 157. Not much is written about me, but this is there. And Marth, 118 battles, 77 wins. And Marth, yeah, he just becomes king of everything. And there you have it. That the end of that. It's finished. The game is finished. If you get the bad ending, the gameplay, this ending just plays out like normal. You get a different track. 
But now, the moment we've all been looking for. How did I do overall? Let's take a look. My ranking is... Perfect score! And I totally didn't cheat because I used an emulator. Please try a maniac mode or harder. No friggin' way I'm not doing that. I'm done. See you guys next time for whatever the hell comes up. Bye.